intend to fight for Black Lives Matter. I intend to fight. If Black Lives Matter to her, why didn't I matter? I don't I don't agree what my Kamala Harris did to my mom. And I don't I don't agree with what she's done to other parents as well. My message to all Americans, especially black Americans, do not trust Kamala Harris. I'm so proud of you right now. Because you walked all the way down here and I wasn't expecting you to walk. My daughter, Shayla, suffers from sickle cell anemia, a chronic, painful genetic disease. As a prosecutor in law enforcement, I have a huge stick. It's, it's a very sharp stabbing pain and it hurts a whole lot like from my chest all the way down it hurts including my side so i decided i was going to start prosecuting parents for truancy when kamala harris was the california attorney general she had me arrested and prosecuted because my handicapped daughter was sick in the hospital and had missed some days of school Majority of my time here at the hospital. Ugh. Kamala's horrible policies hurt mothers like me and the black community. My name is Sheree Peoples, and this is my story. I am a single mother. I've worked as a certified nursing assistant and a caregiver. My daughter Shayla was born in 2002. When she was born, she was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. It affects all major organs in the body and also causes extreme pain. First heard of Kamala Harris when she got elected California Attorney General. We are putting parents on notice. We are going to make sure that you face the full force and consequences of the law. She wrote a report saying truancy was costing California schools $1.4 billion a year in funding. Because of truancy, California public schools lose $1.4 billion a year in funding. I want money. <laughs> <laughs> Kamala then wrote a law making it criminal for parents if their kids miss school time. Kamala even wrote a book called Smart on Crime. You can read an excerpt from the book that she just plugged shamelessly. It's called <laughs> Smart on Crime. Talking about arresting parents for truancy. I sent a letter on, on my letterhead out to every parent in the public school system. In 2012, like all California parents, I received a threatening letter from Kamala Harris saying, we'll go to jail for a year if our kids even miss 10% of school days. It was like a crazy intimidation tactic. I'm going to start prosecuting parents for truancy. It was April 18, 2013, in the morning. I'm in my pajamas. I had just fed my, my daughter, gave her her medications, sent her off to school. Little did I know, there was a warrant out for my arrest. All of a sudden, the police is outside my house, and they started banging on the door. I opened up my door and two officers entered my home. They told me I was under arrest for my child missing school. They said I was going to jail. I was shocked. I said, but my baby is sick. The school knows that. And they said, go talk to Kamala Harris. Place your hands behind your back. My mom did nothing wrong. We did everything we were supposed to. I was always bringing doctor's notes, always calling the school to let them know that I was in the hospital. Then they handcuffed me. So they take me outside for what you call a perp walk. And oh my God, the TV news was there. The newspapers were there. You could swear I had killed somebody. It was degrading and humiliating. I was taken to the criminal justice center. They took my mud shot. I was fingerprinted like a criminal, and I was terrified. The next day, the Orange County Register showed the pictures of my arrest. They even had a close-up picture of my hands in handcuffs to show here's a black mother being arrested. It's a truancy rate at over two and a half times that of white students. Everyone knew most truant kids were black. I think Kamala Harris wanted me as an example to threaten other single black mothers like, this can happen to you if you don't get your kids in class. The police even put out a press release naming me and other black single mothers like Toya Daniels who got arrested the same day. But 
my hell was just beginning. They gave me two charges. Failure to supervise and encourage school attendance and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. I couldn't believe it. They framed my daughter as a gang member and basically charged me with neglect. I spent the next two years in court fighting these charges. Kamala assigned her nastiest prosecutors to my case. My homicide prosecutors. My gang prosecutors. And they went over there and I said, when you go over there, look really mean. <laughs> like 10 different prosecutors. They kept pressuring me to plead guilty and spend a year in jail. But I kept refusing because I did nothing wrong. All the time I had to spend going to court, I was struggling to care for my shape. I lost my job and couldn't pay rent, and we got evicted. I became homeless. We had to move into a motel. And I ended up being in the hospital a lot during her trial. And in that hospital stay, was when I had my stroke. What's your program? I got, got a lot of criticism too. Did you actually yeah. lock anybody up? No, we never locked anybody up. We never sent a parent to jail. And no parent went to jail. And we did prosecute some cases. Uh, but far few, only about 20. It's ironic because Kamala helped raise money to bail out murderers, rioters, and thieves. But she thought I belonged in jail because I had a handicapped child. To me, Kamala is fake. She just repeats stupid things like unburdened. What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been, you know? I found out she only became attorney general because she was a mistress to the married San Francisco mayor, Willie Brown. And today I see she tries appealing to black audiences by putting on fake urban accents. And we're going to do it again in 2024. Black people are very down to earth. This is insulting to us. You better thank a union member for vacation time. Kamala, how stupid do you think we are? And I saw Kamala's Twitter photo. That's from like 20 years ago. She's 60 years old today. Even with the heavy makeup, you can see she's 60. I've seen her pretending to be talking on the phone, avoiding the press. She's a terrible actress. It's calling young people stupid. What else do we know about this population, 18 through 24? They are stupid. With Kamala, we can't even say Merry Christmas. How dare we speak Merry Christmas? How dare we? The laugh is so insincere. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> have to stay woke like everybody needs to be woke <laughs> and yeah i am radical all this woke and radical stuff doesn't do anything for me as a single black mother all it got me was inflation that hurt me and my kids grocery store prices are crazy i can't pay for food on my income I am in favor of saying that we're not going to treat people who are undocumented across the board as criminals. Black people has been in America for 400 years, but Kamala pushes us to the back of the line behind illegals. Why? As borders are. She just filling up our schools with kids who don't speak English just so they can get more government money. Illegals get free health care, but I have to pay. They get free housing, and I'm struggling to pay rent. Our undocumented immigrants that are the least likely to commit crime. <laughs> and it's more dangerous in our neighborhood. We don't need Venezuelan gangs. To this day, at 22 years old, I suffer from full paralysis on my right arm and partial in my right leg. Kamala Harris owes me an apology and my daughter an apology for what she did to us. Let's be clear. My values have not changed. Look, I am not a political person, but I want people to know what Kamala Harris has did to me. If she do it to me, she will abuse anyone if you give her the power. Now, before I start this video, I would like to give a shout out, <clears throat> shout out to America now and then on TikTok for this video. See, 
this is the, this is the one that the mainstream media will not let you see. This is the real Kamala Harris. The video that they don't want you to know. They don't want they don't want you to know about Kamala Harris. This is the real Kamala Harris. What you what you just saw, what you just saw. Sheree Peoples, you know, is the woman basically the single mother who is doing the right thing. And obviously, because of Kamala Harris, she was she was locked up for it. Her, you can see her daughter who had sickle cell anemia, and this is a, a, a really a, a disease that Black Americans, you know, over I mean, have for over years. But what they did to Sheree Peoples was wrong, you know, and yet. Kamala Harris said that I'm AKA, I'm a sisterhood, I'm a black woman, black girls rock, but you didn't treat Sheree Peoples um, with respect, right? Look what you treat Sheree Peoples. You, look what you treat her daughter. She was arrested and her daughter was sick. But this is who y'all voted for. Again, I'm not telling y'all you know, I'm not telling you who you want to vote for, or whatever. But I told you before about Kamala Harris. She's not the one. Look, and then you talking about you know black women, and you need we need to uplift black women. This is what Kamala says, but you didn't uplift Sheree. In fact, in fact, you put Sheree in jail. And and it, I mean, basically, she had a sick daughter. You know. I mean, bless her that she's still alive. But if Kamala Harris has her way, her daughter would not be here today. And then she, she talked about, and then that's what I'm saying about truancy. This woman basically can care less about Cherie's story. And truancy, I mean, this needs to be addressed. Now, I'm going to do a part two of Kamala Harris because she said, uh, uh, I think at a, a national um, black journalist press conference about black men not voting for her. I'm going to do a part two, but I just want you guys to see who y'all voting for. All the Steve Harveys, the D.L. Hughley's, the, um, the um, Ricky Smiley's of the world, y'all defending this woman. That hurt a fellow black woman and arrested her and her daughter because she's trying to do what's right for her daughter. And yet, yeah, yeah we gotta we gotta defend Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris is a black woman. And I've been telling y'all before, she's an Indian. She's not, she is not like us. She is an Indian, an East Indian. That cares more about immigration she to do with us black people. You can see it. You can see it herself. And again, I'm not telling no, nobody who you want to vote for or anything like that. But I want you to see. Y'all always talk about how Donald Trump is a racist. How Donald Trump uh, 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 hurts um, disrespects women. But wait a minute. Kamala Harris put... Black men in prison when she was Attorney General of California, hundreds of thousands of them, and and the, and the Sheree, like I told you, right, told you before, Sheree People case. Look what happened with her. This what the mainstream media don't want you to see, don't want you to see about Kamala Harris uh, and her background. But yes, she's AKA, she's for the sisterhood. But look how you treated Sheree Peoples and her daughter. And then she using truancy to lock women like Sheree Peoples up for doing the right thing. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and do a part two of what Kamala said about black men. I'm going to respond to that as well. But this is the woman y'all want to vote for. This is the woman y'all want to vote for. But look what she did to Sheree Peoples, a fellow FBA. Look how she treated her. And yet she's a black woman, right? Let me know what you think about this in the comments.